In this Slacky CCG tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to the game matching server and how to host or join a game. The first thing you'll want to do is click the server tab, and then you're going to want to connect to the game matching server. Before you do so, make sure you, in your uh, preference section, set your profile name. I set my name, so I'm going to connect to the game matching server now. The bottom half of the server panel is the chat log and the top of the server panel is separated into three sections. Over here is player info for the selected player, for example, if you uh, click this person, this would just me, uh, it will show you what plugin they have, uh, their email address if they enter it, their Skype information, and you can also see their uh, additional information which some people add to their uh, profile and you do that in your player profile section. And the game list section is over here and in the middle is the player list. Uh, you can s filter the player list by all people on the server or people who are using the plugin that you're using. And similarly the game list you can separate it with all games or just the people who have the same plugin that you have loaded. So the game list section lists all the games, or all the games for your plugin, and how they are listed is color-coded. Uh, a gray game is a game that is a different plugin than yours, so you can't join it. Uh, a green game is a game where there's an empty seat, and it's your plugin, so that would be a good one to join. A blue game is a game that has no empty seats, but you are able to join as a spectator. And a black game is a game where there are no empty seats and you're not allowed to join as a spectator. So you can't join a black game. You can join a green game and a blue game. And you can see, based on the uh, information for the game lists, uh, how many seats there are. So this game I just made has two seats maximum and there's currently one person in there, me. So this would be a game that someone could join. And the game list information also has a uh, short description of the game. Uh, this is what plugin it is, uh, that's the creator, if spectators are allowed or not, uh, if the host has a Skype information entered in, uh, and if the guess a game is password protected, and if the game is a proxy game or a normal non-proxy game. To join a game that you can join, which is a green or a blue game, just select the game you want to join and hit join selected game. To host a game, you click the host a game option and there's uh, a bunch of options you can choose in the game hosting menu. You can set the game's name or which is a short description of the game. You can input a password, that's optional. Uh, you can set the initial number of seats up to 10 players at once uh, and you can change that dynamically later on in the game but this just allows you to define the initial number of seats. There's also an option for you to get your uh, IP address you don't even need to use the game matching server. You can have people directly connect to your IP address. And if you want to get your IP address, uh, click this button and it'll tell you what your IP address is. So you can tell it to someone and they can directly connect to you. You can change your port. Uh, you have the option to allow uh, if your game is listed on the server and if you want to allow spectators. And there's also some proxy server options. Some people have difficulty hosting a normal game whether they're behind a firewall or some other reason that restricts how their internet settings are so that they can't host a normal game, those people can use the proxy server, which should allow them to connect to other people. It's always best to host a non-proxy game if you can, and there's a test to see if you can. Uh, I recommend you doing that and uh, not use proxy server games if, if you can help it. A proxy game requires that you be connected to the server at all times while you're playing. It also has a network transfer limit. Anyway, it's always best to not use a proxy server and to use a normal game. And you can disable your firewall, you can uh, tell your firewall to allow Lackey to go through, you can open your network settings for your router and uh, allow TCP and UDP connection for Lackey on the port that you choose, which is the default one is 25710. But whatever you choose as far as normal or proxy game, uh, all that's left is quick host game. 
and then your game is listed on the server. And other people can join it whenever they want.